So one of my favorite anecdotes, um, I wish I had talked to you several years ago, was when you talked about pounding the table. I was a venture capitalist for seven and a half years, and I had a really hard time. Because when I had an investment, I would go to my partners and I would say, here's why it's good, here's why it's bad, here are the risks we're taking, here's the list of risks that we've already taken in our portfolio, here's how this fits in, let's make a decision. And they would look at me, they were largely men, like I was crazy. And they, all they wanted me to do was pound the table, just pound the table and tell us to do the deal. And I'm thinking, well, that's kind of silly, isn't it? We're smart, shouldn't we talk about this? That's not what they wanted. And by the way, it's a whole lot easier to pound the table with kind of a false confidence, honestly, because how much confidence can you have in an, a company that's 10 minutes old, that's got seven to 10 years to prove itself, than it is to try to analyze it and take informed risks. I could never, ever get over that until the very end when I said, you know, screw it. I'm just going to pound the table. You know, I'm not going to go through this anymore. If I have a deal I like, I'm pounding the table, even though in my heart I was always doing the, you know, the this. Yeah. You talk about that as a huge difference between men and women mm -hmm. that you've seen, and I'd really love for you to talk to folks about what you saw and how you overcame that. Well, it was really an epiphany for me. I, I ran into a male friend of mine who's a hedge fund manager, and we're good friends, and I said, why do you have no women on your team? You have no female analysts. And he said, look, it's not that I don't think they're smart. They're just as smart. The thing is, I have a limited amount of capital to allocate, and a man will come in and pound the table with his idea and talk about wh how much money we can make, all of our upside. And a woman will come in, and she'll lay out all the risks, everything that could go wrong. He said, so I have this limited amount of capital. I fall for the upside every time. So what do I need the women for to come, you know? Well, so by the way, one of my investments was the best in the fund. So I mean, there are something about women. Some of your investments were yes, the best but he in the was, fund. I, I so appreciated the candor, because right when he said it, I knew he was right. And I tried to think about, why do women do that? And I think the reason women do that is to be risk averse because they say to themselves, all right, if I lay out all the risks and the portfolio manager chooses to buy it anyway, and if it doesn't work out, well, then I told him all the things could go wrong, so it's on him. But we can't, we can't advance if it's never on us. It has to be on us. And if you want to move up, you've got to take the risk. So pound the table. Start with that. If you were, you know, if you were in a uh, at a debate, you wouldn't start with, well, the other side is a lot of good arguments. <laughs> you know, yeah. you got to go with what your strength is. Then if they come ask and ask you the risk, sure, you got to know them and understand them, but don't lead with how you could lose half your money right away.